Hi, Jeremy Cohen here with a Make Your Fiddle Swing Minute. Now it's entirely possible that this may take a little bit longer than a minute, but let's get started learning how to produce better tone, improvise, and make your fiddle swing. Hi, Jeremy Cohen here, and this Make Your Fiddle Swing Minute is going to be on the use of vibrato. In the book, How to Make Your Fiddle Swing, we have a tune in here written by our co-writer and my partner, Dix Bruce. Uh, Clouds and Shadows is a sort of a gypsy jazz style melodic song. And if I were to approach it as a classical violinist, I would probably play it using vibrato on every note of the performance. But if I were listening to that from the audience, I would think, gee whiz, that player sounds a lot like a classical violinist. So one of the things I like to do is use vibrato as color. In other words, not all the time, but just to give a note a certain kind of intensity, to add a vocal quality to a note, like a singer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the same phrase and I'm going to use my jazz mind and I'm going to sort of play this melody and delay the vibrato once I get to the long note. I, I'm going to not use any vibrato on the slow moving notes to begin with and then when I get to the long held note, I'm going to delay, delay, delay and then add my vibrato. Check it out. See what it sounds like. You hear how the vibrato comes late on the long note? That's an affectation. That's a jazz choice that I make that, that, that inflects the music in a certain way. Again, the classical violinist might want to add that the, the quality of vibrato on every note, but it'll sound more like classical music than it will like jazz if I just do this. Bend, lean into the slides. <laughs> and deliver a wider vibrato later. This can also, of course, be used in classical music. Um, the music of Fritz Kreisler has all kinds of wonderful delayed vibrato, and it's also a romantic style of playing. But here, I'm using my vibrato specifically as a tool in spots in the music. Because vibrato sounds beautiful on the violin doesn't mean that we can't use it in jazz. If you think of your favorite jazz singers, they use vibrato too. So all is fair. That's all I have to say about that. There's a lot of discussion about that in the book, How to Make Your Fiddle Swing. And this has been a Make Your Fiddle Swing Minute. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.